Hello, and welcome to another indie horror game. This time, it's Memories of Loneliness, a psychological horror game where I'm going to be playing as a mother looking for her missing daughter. If you want to crack at finding her for yourself, the links and the details are down below in the description, alright? But I really hope you enjoy it. Leave your thoughts down below in the comments. Like or dislike the video by the end. This is Memories of Loneliness. And here we are. No opening cutscene, we're just here. And what happened? Where's Sally? Where are you, honey? I'll go find you. Alright, well, let's start with this, shall we? Draw. Yeah, clearly someone attempted to. Maybe this is Sally's drawing. Okay, so hang on. Did we crash our car? If we did, we must have been going, oof, two miles an hour? <laughs> if that's meant to be her on the bonnet up here, it was on fire? She was set on fire? Nah, that doesn't seem right. But, hey, maybe dazed and confused she wandered down the hill, so yeah, let's have a little wander around the woods and let's see if I can find my daughter. Very misty. Yeah. I do quite like the look though. Yeah, okay. Gotta admit, I'm not holding out too much hope for this game based on what I saw in the menu. It looked about as, well, as basic and as generic as you can get. But I think the 9 or 10 Steam reviews on this game so far have been pretty positive. So... How was that? Not exactly something you expect to hear while wandering through the woods. So yeah, this might surprise me. I don't know what we're looking for. Well, I suppose it's my daughter, right? <laughs> but the next step, is it going to be another drawing? Am I going to find something of hers? A, a bag? A bit of clothing? Right, so I can run. I don't think I can jump. I can crouch. And I can see something in the distance. Is that a tower? Alright. Why was I just driving in the middle of the woods, by the way? On a foggy night like this, too. I'm wondering if this is meant to be Limbo, or something like that. It's a psychological horror game, so probably. In all honesty, probably. Okay. Is this a house or a castle? Well, there's a door. Oh, hang on. Ah! Oh, there you go, there's a clue. Is she inside? Of course the door's locked. Can we climb in through a window? Oh, actually, there is another one over here, so let's try this. Don't tell me I have to go back out into the woods and find a key. Oh, that could take forever. Wait, what? <laughs> Since when did that open? Is that open, or is that a glitch? It's like I'm entering into a void. Ooh. Okay. Alright. Ah! I should get that flashlight. Right. I didn't come prepared myself, but someone thankfully left this here. Awesome. Alright. Okay. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. This looks a little bit familiar, doesn't it? <laughs> Have I been here before? Or maybe it's not the exact same, but maybe it's very similar to the house in Prognostic. Isn't it? Oh, I don't know. This way? Alright. Yeah, this is maybe where I'd light the candle. It's not a kitchen in that game, but yeah, it might be the same or similar kind of layout. Alright. Damn, look at all this. Yeah, I don't think anyone's been living here for a long, long time. This way? Oop. What was that? I just heard something. Maybe coming from that room? Looks like there's one down there. Let's have a look. Okay, I can't go through there. Can I leave? Have I tried that yet? Ah, uh, never mind. <laughs> it didn't matter because I can't. You never can. Okay. But uh, all right. Uh, well, I think that was Sally, and it looks like she left me another drawing of a hospital. Right. 
Right, okay, so maybe there was a car accident and maybe she did go flying through the windscreen and yeah, maybe she was set on fire. I guess she's in intensive care there. I'm guessing based on the name Memories of Loneliness that she died. Yeah, I'm probably by myself. Maybe I can't handle that. Maybe I, I still think she's alive somewhere. So we can't go through there? And we can't go... Oh. I thought there was like an armoire blocking the stairs, but alright. We're going this way. Oh, if I don't trip over one of the steps. Oh, what? <laughs> alright. Here's another toy. I don't know if that's hers. This way? That would lead to the tarot cards, wouldn't it? <laughs> uh, what, whoa! What was that? Wait. What, hang on. Are we in some sort of cave now? Did I enter a void? I don't think I entered a house. No. It's like we're underground. We're in a cavern or something. Right. This way? Ah, wonderful. Alright, let's uh, check the facilities, shall we? Maybe I can find another drawing. Not down there. Certainly not down there. Uh, Alright. I heard you like tiles. That <laughs> What's going on? First the step, now I'm tripping over my own feet. Right, through here? Okay. The bedroom. Alright. I don't see anything. Hmm. Alright. Wait a minute. That wasn't open before. Okay, so things are changing when I'm not looking, it feels like. So we got the kids' room here. Okay. Wait, oh! Again? What's going on? Ah, oh, well, thank you very much for the lighting changes. Maybe I don't need this so much. So is this some sort of haunted house PT? Potentially, right? Potentially. This way? No, okay. Can't go that way. What about through here? That's where I saw her before. Oh, wow. Okay. What the hell did the bunny do wrong to deserve that? A harpoon through the head? Yeah, no drawing this time and no sign of Sally. Huh, alright. Well, things have obviously changed, so let's just take another look around the house, right? In here? Yeah, it's much, much better lit this time. So I can really see the grime in this room. Oh boy. Yeah, I don't think I'd ever want to eat in here again. I think I'd rather burn the house down. No, that doesn't work. Okay, well, it looks like we're, uh... We're heading upstairs again. Maybe back to the kids' room? Yeah. A little bit darker over here by the looks of it. Through here. Okay. So am I gonna loop again? Not this time. Alright. Oh. Oh dear. Oh no. Oh, I've been here before. You know in horror games when you hear something really scary, but you never actually see any payoff for it? I feel like I'm getting that a lot in this. <laughs> Maybe there was just nothing to see. Right, there's another door here. Kinda. Oh, here we are! Asylum. I'm here. Oh. Where was that? I heard a couple of doors unlock, and I think one opened? Hopefully one of them that was unlocking was this one? Right. Okay, the one that opened sounded close. It could be underneath me, but let's go check these rooms as well. Okay. I don't know if anything's really changed, but let's just go through the motions. And... It what is with the floorboard over here? I keep tripping over my own feet. 
<laughs> yeah, let's check the bedroom next. Oh, I can't. Okay, alright. I think... I think it's that door down there. Yeah, I think it swung open. That's it. Alright. So let's see. Oh, wow. Who the fuck's that in the middle? Ooh. Alright. So is this just a spare room? Seems like it, doesn't it? Huh. Oh, hang on. Who's this? Oh, maybe that's meant to be me? <laughs> I don't know if the orchestra things are really getting to me, to be honest. Whoa! That did! <laughs> that kind of did. Are you meant to be there? You look like a glitch. I closed the door to glitches. Right. Um, where next? Things are changing. Maybe in here? No? Actually, you know what? In this iteration, have I tried leaving? I just know, in my heart of hearts, it's not going to work, but... Yeah, I felt I had to try. Oh, the bedroom's unlocked. The bedroom door's swung open. Can't see anything spooky in there, but I think that's where we need to go. Ah, oh, we've looped again, haven't we? Okay. Here's the red. Let's go to the kitchen. Yep, this is unlocked. Okay. Oh, hello. Hey! <laughs> Who are you? Did I see you in between us in that weird flashback earlier? I'm just going to leave you in the corner if that's okay. Um, alright. Uh, let's go this way, maybe? Okay, that's locked again. And the front door continues to be locked, presumably? Yep, alright. This way? Hmm. <laughs> well, the uh, the glitch is gone. She probably wasn't a glitch, to be honest. She was probably left there intended to scare people. And it worked for me, so... Alright, it's not actually that red in this room. Do we have to find out where the red light's coming from? Looks like it's going to be upstairs somewhere. So let's go upstairs. Oh, I've got a trouble with this stair now. Oh man, what the hell? Yeah, there's some um, there's some collision problems in this game. It feels like, right? The kids' room. Yeah. Okay. Well, this has changed. Oh, wow. Uh, you've grown, <laughs> Sally. Uh, I don't think so. I suppose what I'm doing is looking for another drawing, right? Because I think we have to find a drawing, and then we might go through a loop. That wasn't pressed up against the window so much. Hmm. Maybe the more I discover... Whoa, jeez. <laughs> Maybe the more I discover, the more I feel the walls closing in. What happened to the bath? I've still got the taps. The B-Day's gone as well. Asylum. Oh, I see. Is that me breaking out of the asylum? I think so. I don't know who provided the ladder, but I don't think it was my daughter, because I don't think she's around anymore. Right. What next? One of the locked doors, maybe? Uh, so... I got through that one. I think the one below me was locked? And of course the front door remains locked, and I think it will forevermore. Yeah, this one. I can get through here. Ah! Oh! I barely saw that, to be honest. But, uh, yeah. Spooky basement! Alright. Oh, it's dark down here. Oh. Oh? What? <laughs> uh... Is this the asylum, maybe? Or the hospital? Right. Hey. Oh. Oh, hello. 
who might you be? Hmm. I don't have my flashlight down here. Wait, ooh, okay, yep, right, yep. <laughs> Do I just have to face your head on? You don't scare me. Maybe you should, but you don't. I'm running straight through you, there you go. We got toilets down here? Oh. <laughs> Are you getting sucked down a toilet? Oh man, what a horrible way to go. See you later. Okay. Wait. Is that the- Oh! That's the car, right? And is that Sally in the passenger seat? That might be the creepiest visual in the whole game so far. Yeah, there was something very sort of uncanny valley about all that. That didn't look right. Okay. This one is the staircase? Hmm. Okay. Don't really know what to make of that one, to be honest. So she's definitely not in there? No more drawings? No? We have a door. Okay. Back into the void? Seems so. Uh, okay. This is getting a little weird. So I guess I can't go upstairs. Which Silent Hill game did you come out of? <laughs> right, this way? Hmm. There's not even a window this time. Alright. Nothing to find? No? Okay. Uh, what about through here? Yeah. To the piano room. Oh, hello. <laughs> I didn't know you liked to play. Or glitch out. I guess she's doing it psychically. Right, um, no Sally, no drawing. But no blockage, so I can go upstairs. Let's stay down here. Is that thing still in the corner of the room? Oh, well the kitchen's actually changed shape. Huh, alright, um, back here? Can I go back down to the basement, or...? back to this room. Right. Yeah. Okay. Upstairs it is. Oh no, wait, look, look, look. There's a drawing here. I was never... What is that in the bottom left there? I'm not really sure. But, yeah. You were never. I don't think you survived. I, well, that's that's the theory that I've been going for the entire game. That's what I'm sticking with at this point. It seems like it. Okay. The kids' room. Oh. Oh no no no! Sorry, it's the it's the drawing room now. So yeah, the car accident, staying in hospital, me in the asylum thinking that she's there when she's not. I don't think she survived in the hospital. I break out of the asylum somehow. And, well, I guess I come here. Maybe this used to be our old home? And maybe this is the realization that I'm now having that she didn't survive. And I'm tripping over my feet yet again. <laughs> okay, two more rooms to have a look at. We have the bathroom. Which isn't much of a bathroom anymore. The bedroom? No, but... Oh, hang on. Ah, I was wondering where the other one went to. Find me. Right. Okay. Any ideas? Hmm. Where are you, Sally? It, oh, hello. Different. <laughs> Uh, wait, does that mean you're not playing the piano anymore? The piano is playing by itself. Impressive. Um, just out of interest, has Find Me been added to this room? No. 
Feels like there's maybe one more we need to find. To sort of complete the set, you know what I mean? I still don't have the flashlight back. I don't really know what happened to it. Maybe I never picked it up in the first place. I'm beginning to think that, yeah, this is pretty much all inside my head. Uh, you're still there. Still playing very well. Where are you? Where are you? Here. No? In the kitchen. Since when has there been a door here? Okay. We step into the void once more. And step out of it, back into the house? A little bit weird. Through here? Uh-huh, okay. There's that red again, and red means scary, right? Whoever's using that nail gun, could you stop? <laughs> uh, I think I'm walking towards a revelation here. That's the vibe I'm getting. I gotta say, it's been a, a cliche game. But overall, you know, it's not so bad. It's been alright. Okay. What's that? Ah, that might be a coffin over there. And there's that creature that I saw in the basement. Is that meant to be me in a straitjacket? Right. Ah, there is one more. Sally, 2009 to 2019. She didn't survive. Well, there you go, that confirmed it. Wow, okay. What an abrupt, cheap, jump-scare ending, but that was Memories of Loneliness. I don't think the game really needed that, but hey, it did put a smile on my face, so I don't mind. I don't mind. Yeah, uh, so that was a little bit better than I was expecting. After my initial impressions of seeing the very basic generic-looking menu, I thought I was in for another terrible indie horror game, and I wouldn't call this a great game, but I don't think it was bad. It was... Kind of what I expected for the most part. I mean, it's full of stereotypes and cliches, and I've played this kind of game before. I think we've all played this kind of game before. The story, the plot, it was pretty predictable. But nevertheless, I did enjoy my time playing through this. I did enjoy finding the differences in the loops. I did enjoy some of the jump scares, and there were a few creepy moments. So, yeah, not too shabby. Not too shabby at all. Thank you very much for watching. Hope you enjoyed it. Draw. Yeah, clearly someone attempted to. I don't know what we're looking for. Well, I suppose it's my daughter, right? <laughs> Can I leave? Have I tried that yet? Ah, uh, never mind. <laughs> it didn't matter because I can't. But... Alright. But... <laughs> What's going on? First the step, now I'm tripping over my own feet. What the hell did the bunny do wrong to deserve that? A harpoon through the head? Oh, wow. <laughs> I don't know if the orchestra stings are really getting to me, to be honest. Whoa! That did! <laughs> oh, it's dark down here. Oh. Oh? Right. Hey. Oh. Oh, hello. Are you getting sucked down a toilet? Oh, man! What a horrible way to go. See you later. That might be the creepiest visual in the whole game so far. Oh, hello. <laughs> I didn't know you liked to play. And maybe this is the realization that I'm now having that she didn't survive. And I'm tripping over my feet yet again. Where are you, Sally? It, oh, hello. Different. <laughs> Whoever's using that nail gun, could you stop? 